Hey everyone, this is Alan Schimmel, DevOps.com, DevOps TV, here from the DevOps Enterprise Summit London 2017. And I'm joined by, well, one of my good friends, but a, a giant in the DevOps industry, none other than John Willis, Bachigaloop, who's also with Docker. John That's is correct. an advocate at Docker. But John is also, well, John's a great speaker. He, John, you've probably spoken at dozens and dozens of, of DevOps events. Um, and certainly, I think at every DevOps Enterprise Summit. I've spoken well. at every DevOps Enterprise Summit, and uh, and I think I still hold the record for most amount of um, speaking engagements at DevOps Days. Absolutely, including China. I mean, China, China, sorta, yeah. But. Yep. Um, we'll talk a little about DevOps Days Cuba. Oh yeah, yeah. I didn't, I didn't get to go to that one. There's I, one coming, coming up. Coming up again. We'll, yeah. We'll yeah. talk. Yeah. But um, beyond beyond speaking at DevOps Days. We should mention that John's also co-author of the DevOps Handbook. That's correct, yes. Which uh, is out in full force here at DevOps Enterprise Summit. But John, you're, you're uh, kind of recreating a bit your, your, or updating your uh, talk from last year's DevOps Enterprise Summit, which is sort of what I call the two out of three ain't bad, but three yeah. out of three is better. It's pretty good, yeah. Uh, <laughs> So why don't you yeah. give our audience a little bit of background on that? Yeah, so there's, you know, um, there's a gentleman named Adrian Karkoff. Most people in the kind of DevOps echo chain would know of him. He's the primary architect of Netflix. And he had started this mantra probably about four years ago, you know, better, faster, cheaper. Um, you know, which is really, you're hearing that if you're watching some of the videos today, even Mark Schwartz's presentation, he kind of talks about the same thing. You know, the keynote speaker, Jonathan, mm -hmm. um, is kind of better and faster, right? And, um, so me and Damon Edwards, my co-host on the you know, DevOps, DevOps Cafe, Cafe, we did this joint session last year. We wanted to talk about that and what it means for operations. Um, so I, I, this year I've been thinking a lot about, you know, we were at RSA together, mm -hmm. and I was thinking more about like the secure pipeline. And, yeah. and so for, for a few years now, you know, I've taken that now better, faster, cheaper, and overlaid the whole, you know, what, how do we better with security? How are we better... And, and it plays well with something I've been talking also for a couple of years, is kind of mutable delivery. Right. This idea that a developer can create their infrastructure on their kind of desktop or laptop, and when it leaves the laptop, it's, um, it's all bits, right? It's immutable, non-changeable. And if it goes to the pipeline green, then, mm -hmm. and gets to production all the way through any stage of testing, then it's the same bits and bytes, immutable, on, that was on their laptop that's going to be in production, yes. right? And, and our good friend, Josh Corman, I ran yeah. into him a while back and I was talking about immutable delivery and containers and, and you know, the idea like what happens when we get to a million or 10 million containers out there, how do you manage them? And you know, Josh Corman and I had met at a DevOps Days Austin. Sure. I spoke about this immutable delivery pattern. He spoke about supply chain. Right. And right after we were like, we got a chocolate, we, we got chocolate, butter. Yeah, chocolate and peanut butter, which is, and, and so I'm really expanding that kind of fat, better, faster, cheaper, which it means mm -hmm. DevOps, it means Docker. It's containers, but not my favorite brand is Docker. And it means supply chain. And when you put all those three together, like you get this, you get like incredible speed, mm -hmm. like 2,000 2, times faster, right? We see that from even the DevOps survey. Yes. But, but then we see this ability of immutable delivery in containerized, you start seeing 100, 200 extra liability. And that's crazy. Right? Like you, these are non-changeable artifacts. Right. Um, so it's better, faster, cheaper, more secure. Yeah, and so the secure thing is now you can, and the thing is that um, three years ago, right, uh, Docker's four years old, right? right. Um, three years ago, you could have saw a presentation with somebody and say, you know, Docker, yeah, it's cool, but you couldn't run it in production. You know, two years ago, like, that was really not a, like you saw that statement, but today, like if somebody has a slide that's three years old in a presentation and says you can't run Docker in, bull, bull crap. it's bull crap. And, yeah. and more importantly, I contend and I have enough evidence to show you that you can actually be more secure I, running I, in a Canaan than you can in a VM. I agree with you. Because I can isolate it and uh, in uh, my presentation, I'm going to show you how you can turn actually syscall capabilities on and off. I mean, you can get... Now you no, can, no, I, I agree yeah. with you. I mean, I, I think we, you absolutely, I think the, the containerization abstract actually offers you a more secure platform than just about anything else you can have, I think, because you have okay. ultimate control. Here's an interesting fact, though, and it's the acceleration 
Like you said, four years old, three years ago, we didn't care about security. John, I remember doing a, 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 web, a podcast 2007, 10 years ago, and I had the CEO of Couchbase, who you've heard of, and, and uh, Mongo. Mm. And I said, guys, does no SQL stand for no security? And both of those CEOs said to me, look, we'll put security in when our customers ask for it. And then just this past year, we yeah. saw Mongo yeah. had big security it, issues. Yeah, right? yeah, no, I mean, it, it's, uh, it, you know, there's, um, there's a mindset and a maturity, right? Mm -hmm. um, you know, Docker got hit real early, right? Like, because that was one of the biggest complaints. Well, that right, that was right at the back. You're like, this is not secure. So we invested a lot of money in security, certainly over the last two years. Um, and so, yeah, I mean, you know, I, I think that early on you're trying to create innovation. Like it's like Linux. And so it's you, a customer we, we, we're all guys, remember right? Linux, yeah. I remember enterprises. Almost every enterprise um, in the late '90s would tell you we will never ever run Linux in production. We got Solaris. Yeah, <laughs> right? it was so much um, more secure. But the other thing I think is gonna, what I'm going to talk about in my presentation, which is really really cool, is we introduced this open source project uh, called Linux Kit. Okay. And it's um, it's basically an operating system that you can build from a YAML file. So, and, and it's a just in time. And literally right. now you can create, you know, today with Docker you can create a service abstraction that defines your whole service stack as a just in time, right? It containerized, immutable. Now we've created this open source project called Linux Kit where the operating system can go no, with the service. Just in time. And the operating system is A, immutable. That means the minute it leaves the desktop, it it's cannot done. be changed. Locked. And it can be tied to the service, and or or you know the commit can just pull the whole mm -hmm. thing in. But the coolest, the other cool thing is the only thing that run it is containers. So I'm actually submitting a, 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 to Portland uh, DevOps the Container Days, right? A service abstraction that has this thing, the whole service from a commit, completely immutable, delivered in an atomic flow. And I would, I'm going to after the presentation say I dare anybody to, to compromise the service. Is. Because I got a, I got a read only, to do I got that. a read only operating system, and the only way you can run anything on operating system is as a container, with a read only, you know, immutable application binary, you know, that, that is the containers. Right. But John, I, I don't want to trivialize. You know, you said, oh, a year or two ago. A year or two ago was the blink of an no, eye. No, I know, yeah, I know. In, in this, this, stuff. this world, who knows what it's it'll be like in two years from so, now? Right, I was, yeah, yeah, it's yeah, coming I so quick. Two years from yeah. now, what are we going to see? And I think that is, I mean, that's what gets you excited, right? That's what gets you juiced up when we think about, you know, the acceleration yeah. of this. Well, that's why at the end of the day, you know, people, you know, every once in a while I try to dip back into doing something really blow your mind technical. Because mm -hmm. I spend more time on the meta. I like the yeah. meta. You know, we would talk, I, mean, I did some game theory presentations. Yeah, that was great. I talk about the guys like Sidney Decker and, and mm -hmm. um, uh, resilience engineering, human factors. I mean, that's the stuff that wakes me up in the morning. Right. Uh, but every once in a while, I feel like you I have to put my, uh, to my pads on. Yeah, so I, go, hey, he still does can right. do something. Oh my God, he really is technical. <laughs> so, so I'm in one of those like, Shame on them you know, if I'm tired of you guys forget, saying, hey, yeah. like, he always talks about his big man. He's talking about stuff, Toyota, and, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah well, so. You still got it going. You know what? This, this uh, challenge, if you will, We'll talk off camera about it. I've got a couple of ideas on that. that yeah, I yeah. I don't know how far. Secure, I mean, I'm just going to do it at the conference, but we can go further. You know I'm going to say, by the end of this conference, loves this I'm going to leave it up. You know, go ahead and like, how and if you it? break it, I'll go back to the guys who are on Linux kit, right? And they'll be well, like. Well, no, but th you know, this goes to the whole bug bounty thing. Right? Yeah. This is how we, this is how we improve. This yeah. is how we accelerate it. Crowdsource that. Yeah, yeah. No, right? no, Let's yeah. see what they Very got. Fun. No, and, and I guess the funny thing, you know, I'll go back, you know, I remember when I first got the chef, right? It wasn't like this. All the guys at Chef were hardened sysadmins. You know, the guys that ran systems, uh, system administration at, at mm. Amazon, right? Yep. I was like, you know, a guy who came from the IBM Tivoli world. But I, I remember going and doing one of my first presentations where I, you know, I built this little thing and I whacked dinner and it, it started an HA proxy it, on Amazon. It created some WordPress, distributed like two on Rackspace, two on uh, Amazon, and then a cluster database. And I and I, I walked down there, waited eight minutes for it to come up, you know, do some oh, yeah. here's what a cloud is. And then I said, here it is, and I showed him and by the way, I'm not even a sysadmin. 
Right. You like that? That's what I want to do on the security. I'm sorry, I've got I'm no certification. I got nothing. But I'm I not dare security. you. And I'm I sure dare you. Dare you. <laughs> like that makes it really meaty. Like, hey, Absolutely. wait a minute. Some wong can go up there and do well, all that. That, that gets them going. That the, gets you know, them the black going. Hat, the, the hat guys. Or yeah. Anyway, we'll see. Cool. Hey, man, John, we're about out of time here, but thanks very much for joining yeah. us. Yeah. As always, it's thank always you great, so yeah. much for everything you do. It's good to do. You know, we're good, good buddies, man. It's yep. good stuff. John Willis, Bachi Galoop, from Docker, from co author DevOps Handbook, everything else. This is Alan Schimmel for DevOps.com, DevOps TV at DevOps Enterprise Summit, London 2017.